Shalom. All praise to the Most High, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakudash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutation to you, brother. Hope you like this word of truth and sincerity. I'm back with another article here. And this one here, it says, New Crown Warrior 1 9 trial test mixing two different maxines for first time. Bruh, bruh, bruh. All I gotta say is, man, they are really. <laughs> He's a mad scientist. That's that's the best way I can put it. Okay. It says, patients taking part in a clinical trial that launched Thursday in the UK will receive different vaccines for their first and second doses. Uh, London, as the world races to vaccinate and fight new variants of the Crown Royal 1-9, a new trial is trying some trying Check that out. A new trial is trying something that could speed up the process, mixing just shots. Patients taking part in a clinical trial launched Thursday in the UK will receive different vaccines for their first and second doses. The vaccine developed by Oxford University and AstraZeneca, followed by the one from Pfizer and BioNTech or vice versa. The UK's Department of Health said it was the first study of its kind. Normally, patients receive two doses of the same vaccine and will help determine the safety of mixing doses across different groups with a variety of different time intervals. Uh, The researchers said they wanted participants who were over 50 and had not yet been vaccinated to take part in the trial. The 13-month study known as Calm Coast is expected to first report initial findings in the summer. Its data could lead to a change in the UK's vaccine policy. <clears throat> in the U.S., the, Senate, the CDC and Prevention recently changed guidance for the Crown Royal 1-9 jab, saying that patients could mix Moderna and Pfizer doses in exceptional situations. But the Pfizer and Moderna elixirs are both based on the same messenger RNA or mRNA platform. UK trial, however, involved mixing mixing elixirs based on different techniques, as AstraZeneca and Oxford jabs uses an inactive adenovirus, a type of virus that causes the common cold. Trial participants will be tested to monitor their levels of antibodies and T cells, which serves for an attack infected cells. This is hugely important. This is a hugely important uh, clinical trial that will provide us with more vital evidence on the safety of these jabs when used in different ways. Uh, I'm gonna skip this one here. It is also even possible that by combining jabs or combining elixirs, the immune response could be enhanced, giving even higher antibody levels that last longer. Unless this is evaluated in a clinical trial, we just don't know. (laughs) They they literally just making shit up now. This is ridiculous, man. Uh, the UK faced criticism for delaying the second jab dose uh, for some patients by up to 12 weeks rather than the recommended 21 days in order to prioritize, prioritize administering as many first doses as possible. But Health Secretary Matt Hancock this weekend, this week, pointed to new research which is yet to be peer reviewed that suggests patients show high immune resistance to crown royal and reduce transmission just after one dose um, elixir shortages and distribution problems have been reported across the u.s while many european union nations are also receiving far fewer doses than expected um anyway so they they mix in eli- they mixing up jabs and creating an elixir that's what they really doing okay um 
This is 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 20. O Timothy, keep that which is committed to thy trust, avoiding profane and vain babblings and oppositions of science falsely so called. Okay? This is an example of science falsely so called. That false science that that this uh this these elixirs are here to help you. Okay? This is Job chapter 13, verse 4. But ye are forgers of lies. Ye are all physicians of no value. They lying to you. And they're not they're not physicians. They're not healing you. They they just jab you up. They they <laughs> they're literally experimenting on you. Alright. Uh I wanna get another scripture. This is Sirach chapter 38, verse 4. It says, The Lord hath created medicines out of the earth, and he that is wise will not abhor them. And they abhor natural remedies. They abhor the medicines of the earth. That's why they create their own elixirs. They create their own potions, their jabs, their pricks. Because they abhor the medicines of the earth. Okay? This right here. Is them hating it. Alright. Once again. Uh, Crown Royal 1-9 trial test. Mixing two different jabs. For the first time. Creating an elixir. Alright. Call on you. How about you? Hope you're edified on that. See you on the next one. Shalom.